Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today the road brings me to God's Healing Acre or the Healing Springs. And this land has been deeded to God for the use of His people. I've been here before, but I decided to come back today and meet some more people and listen to some of their stories. And you get to come with me. And we'll get started right after this station. Identification. This land was donated by L.P. Luke Boylston on July the 22nd, 1944. It was deeded to God. God's Healing Springs deeded to the Almighty God to be used by the sick and afflicted. I am at a place near Blacksville, South Carolina called God's Healing Acre Springs. According to tradition, the Indians reverend the water for its healing properties as a gift from the Great Spirit. They led the British wounded to their secret waters during the American Revolution, and the wounded were healed. This historical property has been deeded to God for public use. This water has been flowing up through the ground for hundreds of years. Now they've come in and put piping down in the water to make it a little more sanitary. But it runs and it flows into this stream and it turns goes all into the goes on into the swamp there's a cross that someone has put up it says open your hearts behold I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door I will come in with him and dine with him and he with me revelations 320. And people are driving in, a, in and out of this little park all day long. I spoke with a lady just a few minutes ago that told me that she drove from Atlanta this morning, which is several hours away, and that she drinks nothing but this water. And when she started a month ago, she was on blood pressure medicine, and now she is not. All right, well, I brought three jugs and I am going to partake shortly of the healing waters. There are some folks that they come down and they get really serious. There's a truck behind me that has probably 15 five gallon jugs on it. So far this morning, I have spoke with several people that have driven great distances now they didn't want to be put on camera but i have heard all types of stories how this has helped with arthritis it's helped with people sleeping all sor sorts of stories where this water has helped them apparently it does because a lot of these folks have driven several hours to come to partake of these healing waters must be something to it. So, you come from Aiken and you get this. Mm -hmm. How long does it last you before you have to come back? Six months. Yeah. Six months. Wow. So, 
you have come this morning to the Healing Waters, and you've been coming for how long? I've been coming for years. Yeah. years. Okay. Uh, probably 30 something years, and uh, this right here, this water, I really love it. It's cool, and if my blood pressure is right, my diabetes is right, I don't even have to take no insulin because I had laid off the water for a while because I live all the way in Charleston. And how far is Charleston from here? About 80 something miles. Okay. And um, see, I'm going to Hill Spring to get me some water. I came not too long ago. Uh -huh. and, um, I've been on it ever since. Really? If my body and doctor say, I don't know what you're doing, but keep going. It's worth the drive then, it's isn't it? It's worth the So, how many, about how much do you drink a day? I try to drink about a half a gallon a day. Oh, yeah. Well, that's about what we should, I guess. Right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. And what's your name? Fred. 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 I'm, I'm Carolina Tony. Okay. All you, right. you go to YouTube and check my channel out. Okay, then. And you'll see, you'll see yourself in a few weeks. Okay. All right. I will do. <laughs> A man just told me that that sometimes you can come down and there will be people bathing in this creek and said that even though this creek's only just like four inches that people get out in it and lay down in it because they say it helps them. It's just a little side note. I came down to Healing Springs this morning and I met this lady and she is selling some of her vegetables and muscadine grapes and watermelons that she grew and before anybody asks I'll let you know yes I did buy some tomatoes and I am going to have me a tomato sandwich with Duke's mayonnaise tonight. <laughs> so if you come to God's Healing Springs you can see all these folks down here loading up on water you meet this lady and get some tomatoes from her and you tell her Carolina Tony sent you. God's Acre, Healing Springs. By tradition, Healing Springs got its name during the Revolutionary War. In 1781, after a bloody battle at nearby Windy Hill Creek, four wounded Tories sent inland from Charleston by General Banstray, the butcher, Tarleton, were left in the care of two comrades who had orders to bury them when they died. Luckily, Native Americans found them and took them to their secret, sacred healing springs. Six months later, the Charleston garrison was astonished by the reappearance of the six men. All were strong and healthy. Ownership of the springs passed from the Native Indian tribes who revered them to an Indian trader Nathaniel Walker, who bought them with corn. The site passed through several hands until it was acquired by L.P. Boylston. On July the 21st, 1944, he deeded the land and the springs to God. The waters, by analysis, are exceptionally pure and contain helpful minerals. People today, as in the past, believe they are truly healing springs. All right, well, I hope you have enjoyed our trip to God's Acre, Healing Springs. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends and to help this channel to grow. And until next time, y'all have a good day.